Okay guys, uh, I received the uh, timer module and um, so basically it comes in a little module like this so you just got a pick processor there, a uh, little buzzer and jumper and uh, a couple of items on the back there and a uh, connector Right, so basically I'm going to go through the steps on how to hook up these wires. Right, so I'm only talking about five wires. Right, they're color coded. It should be very, very straightforward to hook in. I basically pulled apart the DX7, as you can see there. Okay, one of the first things I'm going to do is I'm going to cover this with a bit of heat shrink uh, because I want to mount it into a spot. Um, that'll be against another board so basically what I'm doing is uh, just simply measuring up a bit of heat shrink and cutting it up like so and place this over the top so it's ready to be shrunk so I'm just going to shrink that I'll be right back so as you can see I've uh, basically put the heat shrink over, I've shrunk it and um, just needs a bit of trimming to get it right so one of the main things is that you need to uncover this hole here so you have to cut a little slot there and then a little slot around the actual jumper so basically just made a little hole at the top there and also just cleared the jumper away a little bit so that you can actually get in there pull that jumper out or put it back in whatever the case is whichever setup that you choose to do so that's it there um, as you can see you've still got uh, quite a bit of room to uh, put in the, the um, connector All right, and that's pretty much ready to go at the front of the spectrum you've got a uh, basically a little hole here uh, or a little vent and behind that is already the buzzer of the spectrum in there so what I'm going to do is mount this device so that it sits in behind here and I'll show you how I'm going to do that right here we've got four screws that we need to undo So that's my ideal location for it, right here. Okay, so <clears throat> basically what I'm doing is uh, I'm going to put in the oh well I've put in the connector so that it's already in the right spot. Um, numbers at the front, right? So um, pin two is not connected. Uh, and what I've decided to do is put a bit of hot melt glue on top here and then on this spot here right here on that edge is where that uh, chip is going to sit with the uh, hot milk glue on the top of that so it will sit down in that position there still clearing the antenna and clearing everything else So just basically holding it in position till the hot milk glue sets. We've got the connections. Right. And you'll see these ones marked in red. Okay, there's that one, that one, and that one. Those are the potentiometer connections, which are here, here, and here. So basically what I did was I soldered into those connectors, or into that connection, put it around, bit of cable tie, and then back up to where this unit is. This spot right here.
Okay, so it's now complete, basically mounted in that position on top of the other buzzer, the, the stock buzzer internally. Uh, connector comes off, connects into the appropriate spots there, and then down onto the board itself. So now I'm just going to basically put it back together again. So now when you turn on your transmitter, you'll hear six beeps. Um, those six beeps mean that it's basically active and ready to go to automatically start the countdown. So here's the throttle stick you can just see in the top right, top left hand corner. As soon as you advance it, so notice the counter down here is counting down. And if you go back to the off position, counter stops. So, on, off, on, off. Now if you don't want it to come on, you basically just hold your clear button and you'll hear two beeps when it comes on. That means it's off. So now the throttle stick doesn't do anything. 